In one of the most horrifying and shocking incident, Sakshi Ahuja, a young Delhi school teacher and a mother of two seven and five year old kids who was on her way for a family vacation, was electrocuted at New Delhi railway station today, as reported on Twitter by NDTV. Young teacher, she was electrocuted at the Delhi railway station. Woman, full of life, has two children, seven and five, was on her way for a family vacation. And before her family knew, she was, you know, just walking through the station. She was dead, gone in few seconds. What happened to Sakshi Ahuja is just not shocking, but also a tale of how the work in this country is done. How people responsible do not care two hoots about the Ahmadni. Young teacher, she was electrocuted at the Delhi railway station. The tragic incident happened as Sakshi was walking to board the train at the New Delhi railway station when she slipped following rains and dashed with an electric pole having naked but live wires running on it. Terribly shocking but within no time she was electrocuted by high tension live electricity wires. The sad and grieving father of the unfaithful mother alleged that this was nothing but sheer negligence on part of the railway management and said people at the time of incident talked that the railway authorities had been informed time and again of the dangerous live wires which could kill many but none heard them. The incident at the parking lot while she headed towards the platform. She was going towards the platform to catch a train for a family holiday. Her nine-year-old son and seven-year-old daughter had a narrow escape. How did Sakshi die though? It was raining. Sakshi was just walking through a water puddle and she got electrocuted because there was a pole right next to that puddle with open wires that caused her death. Her husband says this is negligence at several fronts. The family claims apathy, no help for at least 20 minutes. There was no ambulance available. And the bystanders and the people there say that repeated complaints were made about this open wiring, about this pole, which the railway officials did not heed to. The railway department officials have met, in fact, Sat. Her family has said that it is criminal negligence, apathy. Dear viewers, while we, the entire team of the DN News, are deeply saddened at the sudden demise of Sakshi and express our heartfelt condolences for the departed soul and pray to God to rest the holy soul in peace and tranquility and also for the strength to the family to bear this irreparable loss, we would like all of you to join hands and take up this issue with the highest authority of railways which was manageable but was left unmanaged due to poor management of the railways as a loud campaign to ensure safety to other lives for the future. It's really painful and torturous for not only the parents of the family of the deceased but to all of us. We from the DN News appeal to the Railway Ministry to ignite the monitoring system of the management, improvise the management system to put an end to such manageable incidents. If there was no proper monitoring, there ought to be negligence and negligence leads to definite, not accidents, but dents on lives due to improper management that may also depart one from the other permanently. Therefore, I would request railway management to wake up, tighten and rectify the defects in the management and beef up monitoring by senior and responsible officers as a constant effort.